Uh, hello, I have um, received a challenge from the Romanian Cultural Institute in New York to uh, present my thoughts and um, some work um, during these times of the coronavirus pandemic. So my name is Pandele. I uh, graduated uh, in the painting department at the art school, so I guess I'm a painter. But that's not the only thing that I do. I uh, make some murals, I uh, make some photography, maybe some installations, um, all sorts of gallery work. Uh, the work that I will be uh, talking about is like uh, digital, uh, digital 3D modeling. Uh, CGI image. Um, I see art as a self therapeutic process. One way of subjectively understanding life through creating these objects or non objects in my case now, um, I normally I get a little disgusted by the and skeptical by the, the term, you know, art or artists. Uh, nowadays, you know, I think it's uh, obviously overused and uh, being cr creative as a job <laughs> feels <laughs> quite ridiculous. I have also like, <laughs> like I've also um, just recently moved in the first of March, so my studio is across town and I cannot go there right now. Could be a good thing because I can work on my computer now and learn new programs and tools. And um, this work that I will be talking about is uh, quite connected to the current situation, even though I sincerely despise um, the people that exploit the uh, world's um, troubles. Getting attached to the uh, popular subject in their personal practice, that's something that, that I don't understand. Anyway. It is a non-object, uh, digital illustration done by 3D modeling, an um, overview of an orthographical uh, composition presenting some humans in their private uh, habitats, in their private uh, universes. The work that I'll be talking about is still in progress and probably will still be for a long time uh, because it's quite time-consuming for me and I have to relearn everything so it is an illustration but uh, I, I always try to escape um, description as much as possible you know to to put all sorts of uh, um, visual poetry uh, yeah but it, it seems it, it somehow looks like a, a the Sims game, or it's it's way darker, I think. So maybe the darkness is just a habit. Each of the characters has uh, his own profile picture in the project and has uh, you know st status updates uh, similar to to the social media we are uh, familiar to. So this kind of uh, uh, 3D software allows me to put a uh, large amount of details into one work. I'm definitely not a, a digital art master and everybody, anybody that says he is, is pretty much ignorant because these uh, 3D software programs, whatever you know, they, they, they're, a bit, they're so complex that um, you constantly get um, overwhelmed by how complex one one uh, program is, and, and there's all these uh, uh, trick shots and that you have to know. Uh, I've just had my uh, solo show in February, and I I can say the outbreak of has slightly influenced the impact you know the, the sales but you know it could have been worse you know like uh, um, also in December I traveled with an awesome project in China and <laughs> it was before everything started so maybe I'm I'm double lucky you know I have 
um, I have ditched it. <laughs> so my main source of income is uh, uh, coming from the mural paintings, which obviously most of the, the projects that I had coming up were postponed or cancelled. And um, we will see if they will actually get uh, produced or not. You know, my, my entire life I've been, I, I've been having this feeling that we are uh, the reality that I lived in was some sort of a, a calm be before one certain storm uh, and maybe I am a bit worried for for democracy as we know it amazing freedom that we have but when I really think of it you know I am never worried about change even if it's something worse it's si sincerely I feel this break from reality is welcome right now because um, most of the people don't e don't ever get enough time to, to 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 get in touch with themselves. So you know to to reflect um, upon yourself like one month, two months, three months. Maybe there isn't sufficient time for people to to evolve as individuals. R reading your old diaries, you know, reading, uh, go going through your old photos, old music, old moves, to understand what you are before you die. I think this social distancing is not a big deal for me because I love being alone. Um, it's a huge part of my life and <laughs> I don't know, I, I feel uh, privileged to 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 have this just uh, being alone uh, um, because I'm nocturnal so in my studio I work at night from 8 in the afternoon until uh, maybe 8 in the morning after that I get home and so on so you know just having this uh, uh, schedule you're the only person alive in your reality. I've seen lots of uh, galleries do uh, very desperate <laughs> things and very predictable things. Maybe the first thing that I will do is uh, get drunk with my friends. I would love to, to go to my studio and continue my project because uh, I was working on something before this. I had so many plans. Uh, that got cancelled. Uh, in January I think I figured out the whole year. But I don't mind, you know, because I think this is more important. It's more important for humanity to change than my plans, you know. So, um, I, I've i happily given my uh, amazing plans for um, uh, 2020 away. I'm trying not to be active uh, so much on the internet. I'm constantly on it. I'm like a incognito stalker, but I, I don't care. Plans for the future. Right now I'm trying to get organized and to have a, an artist book, to have a website, to understand what I am. <laughs> And what have I been building? We all get uh, sub subconsciously uh, influenced by everything we see, you know, but one unique gesture is worth way more to actually accept themselves as humans. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon.